Hey folks, Pastor CJ here, Grace of the Lord Church, and I just wanted to reach out to you just to kind of celebrate some victories with you because you have invested in the success that God is seeing through our ministry. And so I just wanted to share with you some things we're celebrating. So you know, as of now, things are going pretty good with us. Uh, our regathering has been pretty successful. Um, we actually have 100% regathering. So all of our most vulnerable holdouts are saying they're comfortable enough to start coming back. Um, our facility is accommodating enough and our our people are comfortable enough with each other and just having spent so much time together that um, they're all really comfortable being together. And and so even our visitors, the people who are on the fringe are coming and are really kind of appreciating the setting, being mostly in compliance with the various state guidelines and uh, not having a, an entirely upside down service, which is um, giving us a real edge. And I tell you, um, I know a lot of pastors who are not as um, lucky as we are to have, I mean, because we're so small and our facility is so accommodating, um, you know, I've not been pulled in a lot of different directions on how to lead our people through this and been able to take my cues from our people. And they've just really handled this whole thing well, caring for each other, caring for the vulnerable, um, and just uh, being comfortable with each other enough to regather in a successful way. So really grateful there. Um, things are off to a great start. In fact, we've experienced a little bit of growth during or as a result of the COVID crisis now that we're kind of, uh, the dust is settling on our regathering. And so that's been cool. Also, just seeing a lot of baptisms lately. We had our first baptisms ever in the history of this ministry earlier this year. And more recently, we've had a number of uh, additional folks express interest in walking through the waters with us. Um, through that, we've also have some people express interest in membership. And so um, for us, that means um, people who are saying that we, we share the same DNA. We, we have a broad church family, but those who are, are so close in various characteristics as to share a lot of the same DNA would be considered members. And we're um, celebrating adding new members to our uh, church family uh, more and more lately for whatever reason. People are just really getting in. And uh, what's exciting about that is these people are all bringing something of significance to the table. Whenever people member up, you know, they're committing to giving, they're committing to serving. And uh, so our servant team's growing and that's a big deal uh, because for those of you who've been tracking with me long enough, you know that my leadership team and servant team was uh, pretty meager getting started and uh, just really grateful to see God growing that. And membership is one of the first steps that one must take if they will become a leader in our church. And so right now my leadership team is still pretty meager, but it's got some prospects in it that we just haven't had. Uh, we're starting to see more and more prospects in our developmental process. And so starting to see some people who we can empower and invest in and train up and, and start to share a little bit more and more with as far as leadership and influence. And so um, really got some cool things coming down the pipeline as far as uh, potential leaders for our church and, and people who we can already start to share at least a little bit of leadership with. That includes, we got more teachers and, and just, just very various high level helpers. And so super excited about what God's doing as he's starting to grow our leadership team from within and uh, from within our ranks, from within our congregation. Uh, we've kind of gotten past the point that church plan usually starts recruiting, right? We're building our launch team from the body of Christ at large. But now we're starting to see um, the seeds grow from within our own congregation and membership uh, that will result in people on our leadership team. So just a lot of really cool, exciting stuff. God sustained us through the COVID crisis and we're coming out stronger. I'm really grateful for your investment, for your participation, for your prayer support. Uh, really, uh, couldn't, I couldn't have done it without you. And I often tell people that and they say, oh, God could have done it without me and being very humble. And I appreciate that humility. And sure, maybe God could have done it without you, but I couldn't. I'm I'm grateful for you. Don't know what I'd do without you and just love you. And uh, thank you very much for your continued support. And if there's anything more I can do for you, you just let me know. It'd be my pleasure. I hope you have a great rest of your day.